and these people doing this stuff to us are evil. And they don't care about us. And they're willing to sacrifice us. They're willing to kill us. They're willing to make our lives incredibly hard. Like, when you guys think about what you learned in high school, and you think about what, what you learned, now, now look at what they're teaching today, which is many times less valuable than what we even learned. But even when, when I was in high school, and I went to, a, at the time, what, what, what was a very, very, very high-ranked academic high school. Um, they didn't teach me about, you know, debt. They didn't teach me about how to balance finances. They didn't teach me how to protect myself from, you know, all of these things that we, we deal with as a human being once we're kicked out into the real world. Like, and that's because our debt is their asset and our struggle is their win. And they want us to struggle and they want us to be indebted and they want us to struggle in a way where it's hard for us to get ahead because if we're in debt, we're in debt to them. That makes them rich. And if we struggle to get ahead, that means we're less powerful to provide any sort of resistance to anything that they do. And so when we really like break this down, you have to understand that our entire system is corrupted, even down to the way uh, 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 the things that they teach us at a basic level. And so, you know, when you guys think about where's the start, where's it end, what is it, who's doing it, this and that, it's not as simple as saying, oh, it's Joe Biden. Like, Bro, this has been going on for a hundred years. This is this is our systems. This is our way. Our our, our like when you really like if you you guys who are business owners out here, like if you were an average person and you actually understood how small and medium sized businesses get taxed, and you actually understood how they tax you exactly the right way so that you can barely get ahead. And then they have the biggest companies in the world pay zero tax. And then these biggest companies in the world then put out propaganda to you to get you fired up saying, tax the rich. Like that tax the rich message that you see from AOC, that comes from the richest people in the world. And they want you to look at your neighbor or your local entrepreneur and burn their business down because they, you know, they're, they're the rich to you. Right? They know that you're not going to look at them and think they're the rich. You're going to look at your neighbor driving a BMW and say, get that. And this is all psychological societal propaganda that we've been dealing with for a long time. So, like, where, who's in charge? Where does it go? I mean, dude, that's a history lesson that would take me literally 10, 15 hours to unpack. But at the end of the day, uh, the World Economic Forum is the centerpiece for it, in my opinion, along with all the governments that align with them. Along with, uh, you know, r really that's it. All the governments that align with the World Economic Forum and the people of the World Economic Forum are causing 98% of the disruption in society. And that's why when Trump was in office, he went in there and pulled out. And, uh, you know, we shouldn't be a part of that. Yeah, we pulled up some of these stuff. There's, there's companies that are operating in the negative. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's awesome. yeah, they're getting tax grants from our government. So, like, this is what people don't understand. When they say tax the rich, they want you to yell at me, mm -hmm. okay? While the biggest companies in the world get government funding for their projects. You see what I'm saying? No, bro, people don't understand it. They don't teach you, they don't teach you the shell game. Like, like, you know, like you walk down the street in New York and you see the dude with the three cups and the ball. They're not going to teach you the trick. But I can promise you the trick is to keep you struggling, to keep you unhealthy, to keep you sick, to keep you dependent, to keep you confused so that they can maintain control and power and, and uh, prestige over us. And, 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 bro, it's us versus them. They understand that very clearly. We don't understand that. We're not smart enough to understand that. They don't allow us to be smart enough to understand that. Like if you were operating from this place and you, would you, now you're them. Now real talk. I know you're a good dude. You, you, like, you wouldn't really do this. But let's say you're them. Okay. And you have everything in the world. You've been brought up to believe the world is yours and that these people do not matter. They, these are no different than you or I would look at. And, and people get mad when I say this, but this is true. They don't have any more care for us than we would have care for a cockroach in infestation in our garage. Okay? So, if you 
were them, why would you teach us how to win? Why would you teach us how to be healthy? Why would you teach us how to make money? 